guys, it's Justine, and today I have something super exciting to show you. This is the Brava Oven, and I have reviewed this in the past, but they now have a brand new updated version with a glass front so you can actually watch your food cook. And what's so special about this is it actually cooks with light. It has patented pure light cooking technology, and I have been using one of these for the past, I have lost track of time, many years at this point. But I'm so excited to show you this brand new one, and a huge thank you to Brava for partnering with me on this video. So this is brand new, we still have to set it up, I've still got some stickers on it, but I wanted to show you what is included when you purchase one of these. This comes with a Brava glass tray, a temperature sensor, and a Brava metal tray. Here's the temperature sensor. This is one of my favorite parts because you're able to get perfectly cooked meats at the temperature that you want. It also comes with this new wireless thermometer. Now the old one used to be wired, so I'm so excited about this wireless one. This will wirelessly connect with your Brava and you'll be able to easily monitor all of the temperature of your food. Look at this nice glass tray and the metal tray. There are some accessory pans that go with it. Hold on. We've got a loaf pan. This is the egg pan, one of my personal favorites. I love making breakfast sandwiches in the Brava. We've got the square pan, an extra metal tray, the muffin tin, and an extra glass tray. But there's one more. This is the chef's pan and it's made of all ceramic. I've used this many times to make different types of casseroles and it's so awesome because it just slides right into the Brava oven. And then I can also just put this back in the refrigerator and then use this also to reheat as needed. So now that you've met all of the pans and accessories, let's set this up. Oh wow. This is so cool. This was one of the most highly requested things in the Brava oven is to add a glass front so you can actually watch your food cook. But this actually has cameras inside of it so you can watch your food cook on your phone. Something new that they just added is it will do a time lapse of your food being cooked and you can download it as a GIF. I am so hyped about this. So I need to connect this to Wi-Fi and sync it to my phone. So let's get started. First, we're gonna connect it to Wi-Fi and once it's connected, we're gonna do this initial software update. So here's the dashboard. You can control this entirely from the dashboard here and you can scroll through, find something that you want to cook, and it will walk you through to be able to make whatever that thing is. So here's where it tells you exactly all of the steps that you need to do. If you want to personalize it by cooking longer or shorter, the location of where to put the pan, and then you're ready to go. The green button signifies it's time to cook. You can do so many different things in here. You can sear, toast, bake, reheat, Brava air fry, dehydrate. You can do rice cooking. You can just keep warm. And there's even pro cook and custom cooks. I've actually made a custom cook. Right here I made a Justine's breakfast bowl and I downloaded these chicken and vegetable skewers from someone online. There's so many different things in the cook menu. Pretty much anything that you can even imagine, they have it here. Tofu, snacks, desserts, nuts, cocktails, condiments. You name it, you can even make pizza. Another cool thing is they have this new item section. This is constantly being updated from Brava chefs, so you always have something new and fun to try. And in the search, you can type in what you want to cook, or you can use some of their preset suggestions if you want to just use the chef's pan or the egg tray, or if you're going to be making chicken, or if you want a vegetarian dish. It'll filter all of those out for you. Some of these are multi-step recipes, which is kind of neat because this will give you the entire recipe and when to swap out trays for different ingredients. All of these recipes are also available on the iPhone app and you can send them directly to your oven. We got the Brava all set up, my food prepped, and you might be wondering, what are we making today? Well, friends, we are making a filet mignon, potatoes, and baby broccoli. Now I've got the recipe right here, and now I'm gonna click send to your Brava. That's gonna automatically send it here and everything is already up on the display, ready to cook. And here's a demo of how to measure the steak to get it prepped to get the correct temperature. So I'm gonna follow through this recipe. It says it's gonna take about 10 minutes to prep and 25 to 33 minutes of cook time. So let's get started. The first step is to prep our broccoli and our potatoes. We're gonna get some olive oil and some salt and get these all ready to get on the pan. So our potatoes are ready. In the recipe, it does say to season them, but these were actually already seasoned, so spoiler, I'm cheating. The broccoli, on the other hand, is not. We're gonna use a little avocado oil and we're gonna just give you a little, a little bath. 
So our vegetables are prepped. Now it's time to move on to the meat. So we're gonna pat the steaks dry with a paper towel, season on both sides with some salt and pepper, and then we're gonna place them on the pan and we cook. That's it, that is all. It also says that I'm supposed to finally chop some chives, but I don't have those. So we're gonna skip that step. seasoned and ready for the pan. I love that it gives you an image of how to lay out your pan before you put it into the oven. This has different zones on it and they're labeled one, two, and three. So we're gonna be putting the broccoli here in one, steaks in two, and potatoes in three. We're eating good tonight. This is the meat thermometer. Now on this, it has a little measuring system. So you're gonna put this up to the steak and then wherever the line is, you're gonna match that line with the line on the Brava oven so it'll know how thick the steak is. This next screen lets us select how we want our steak. I'm gonna do mine medium. So now it's telling you to insert the temperature horizontally into the meat. So our temperature sensor is in. We've got our meat set to the desired temperature and really there's not much left to do but cook. We follow the prompts. Everything looks like it's ready to go. <gasps> Look at this, look how, oh, you can see it. Oh my goodness, I can see all my food cooking. I can't wait to see the time lapse of all of this cooking. It's gonna look so cool. And now we have 13 to 22 minutes to wait. So I'm gonna be waiting here super patiently. My favorite feature still is the fact that this has cameras inside of it. So right now I am watching my food cook on my phone. This is great if I need to run upstairs or if I need to run to the other room or something. I can have eyes on the food at all times. It's looking so good. I think it's ready. Wow. This looks so good. I'm also starving, so like I, I can't wait to dig into this. Let me get some plates. Get my little meal. This looks incredible. Also, I found this out way later in my owning a Brava that this is actually a little hot plate, so you can put your hot food right on top of it. Okay, I'm gonna cut into this and just see how the meat looks. Oh wow, look at that's actually perfect. That's exactly how I like it. <gasps> what? Oh wow, that looks so good. Let's check you out. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. There it is. I just made a meal for two. Tyler, it's your lucky day. Okay, here's my first bite. This is exactly how I like my meat prepared. It's perfect. Sometimes they make it a little bit too cooked and then it's like too chewy. And then sometimes it's too red and it's still like bleeding. Like this is perfect consistency. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh man, this is so good. Try a little potato. Try a little broccoli. I also love how well this cooks vegetables. It's so perfect. I'm gonna enjoy this first, and then I'm gonna make some cookies for dessert. I'm full and so happy now. It's time to make the cookies. So I'm just gonna be searching for a basic chocolate chip cookie recipe. I have some cookies that are already made. You could make these from scratch. I didn't do that, but there are recipes that you could choose from if you want to do that. Do you hear Maddie eating? <laughs> cookies. Here it is. Heart. Send to Brava, one to nine cookies. This is great because these are homemade or store-bought cookie dough chilled. The equipment that we need is our Brava metal tray, parchment paper optional. I don't have that.
You might notice that there's a small corner missing. I don't know what happened to that one. We don't want to talk about it. <laughs> It's in my belly. Not gonna lie, that meal was incredible and I'm not surprised because I basically cook all of my meals in the Brava oven, so I'm not surprised. All right, we need to arrange these cookies two to three inches apart. My meal was so good. I can't even, ugh, I can't even believe it. Like I wanna eat it again. Is that two to three inches apart? That is, okay. There's our cookies. So I already sent the recipe to the Brava and now we're gonna put them in the oven. Can't wait for dessert. The cookies are done, the cookies are done, the cookies are done. <gasps> this is like a perfect little cookie. I wish I could say that I made this from scratch, but it doesn't really matter because I made these in literally like 10 minutes. I put them on the pan and they are ready. Oh gosh, <gasps> and they're crispy. Oh, they're really hot. Probably should have waited for them to cool down first, but. Oh yeah. Wow. What a perfect meal. Here you go. Oh yeah. They're incredible. They're good. Do you like it? Yep. Tyler's hyped. Mm. These are so good. I am so obsessed with the Brava. If you guys wanna get more information or to purchase the brand new glass front Brava, I'll put a link in the description so you guys can check it out. I love that you can do so many different things in this from baking to air frying to searing to dehydrating. And this really does replace so many other appliances in the kitchen. Like I don't even really use my microwave. I hardly ever use my oven. I don't even use a toaster oven or a toaster anymore. I make everything in the Brava. It's honestly, no joke, my absolute favorite. So thank you guys so much for watching. If there's anything you'd like to see me bake here in the future, leave it in the comments below and I'd love to try it out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.